Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wind Waker. Last time, we went back to the Forsaken Fortress and did quite a bit. We did the whole Forsaken Fortress. We met Ganondorf and we defeated the Helmrock King. This time, we are back at the Tower of Gods with Tetra, who seems to have been revealed to us is Princess Zelda. Again, who could have foreseen this? It's fine. And now we're guiding her to the place. Where are you? Are you stuck? <sighs> it's fine. Uh, Alright, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Are you him? Are you the one who, who is speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me. That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. You made it in the royal family's gossip stone. Sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom spoken of in the legend of the great hero, the place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place, where the two of you now stand, is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am its king. That's a name that I will very much fuck up. <laughs> saying so he's just gonna be king of Hyrule <laughs> it's fine Link do you not recognize my voice indeed I am the one who guided you here I am the king of red lions boatman <laughs> there's no need for me to reveal my true identity to you so long as that blade the master sword could defeat Ganon but now, both of you must listen to me. Once long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of shadows by Ganon, who sought to obtain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and only and our only choice was to leave the fate of the king of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet all was not lost, for well, the gods knew that to seal the, seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So, before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and commanded them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. <coughs> My throat is not happy. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. Go on. <laughs> this necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we have kept from Ganon's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live.
smaller triangle. <laughs> It's the play button. <laughs> it's exploding, I guess. All right. Look at that. I changed your clothes for you. Enjoy this tattoo on your hand. <laughs> My fate? You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link. I'm terribly sorry that you've been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair, and so will the world you know above the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Sure. <laughs> Zelda. It is far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, the sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It's my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Whoosh! <laughs> Link, we must go. I'm over here now. <laughs> Do you like my new trick? <laughs> I learned how to teleport. <laughs> 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 Link. I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your poor sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Anywho, bye. <laughs> Link. Be careful. Uh, <laughs> I think it's alright. Bye. <laughs> I'm fucking losing it. Anywho, you don't. You, you're fine. We're just gonna seal this up. <laughs> You'll be all right. Put some food down there. You'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> Back out we go. Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the god's power. The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north, and the East Temple to the south. Oh, the Earth Temple to the south, the East Temple. I cannot read. <laughs> Praying to the gods must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temples. But, each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. Who boy. There's a lot of story just got dumped on us. Whew. 
All right. <clears throat> now to start. <laughs> oh. Link, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Once, long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe, much as Zelda kept hers. The sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this I'm... As much I do know, they lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. The Triforce of Courage is the only key that will once again open the doorway to Hyrule. You must search for it. Back out to the sea we go. To start, we have this tile that we haven't visited, and we have Headstone Island. We also have a couple of other tiles that we haven't seen, but those aren't immediately important. What is... is Western Fairy Island. We saw this quite a while ago, and we couldn't exactly do what was there. The doorway was blocked by fire, and there was a big old button on the island. Now that we have the hammer, we can go back there, and we can press the button, which presumably will get rid of the fire. <laughs> so let's go do that. There's also a lot for us to go do. We, we are very much back, gonna be going back into item collection hell for a little bit. <laughs> Sadly, but. It must be done. Huh. Ugh. Fuck. I'm. It is too late for me to be recording. It's fine. Okay. There are many things that we can go do. And who boy, do I mean many things. It's gonna be a bit before we actually go to the temples. Sad to say. But so be it. There's not much we can do, so we just gotta... We just kinda gotta kinda deal with it for now. To start with everything, we'll go to this fairy island, and then we're gonna just do item collection, I guess. I really thought there was gonna be more. That's... I did not hit the button. I really thought we were gonna have more than one <laughs> video of, like, new stuff that isn't just item collection, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I should have known it's a Zelda game, but like, come on, man. <laughs> I suppose we could just go do the temple. We can go do either, I think. But I'm, I'm following what the guide says, which has Earth Temple being first. So we will do the, the, the south to start. You might have to do them in a specific, you might have to do Earth Temple first. I don't, I don't know if you have to, but I'm just going to do that because that's what the guide says. <laughs> anyway, we're here. Let's press the button, which will probably allow us to talk to the fairy. Who could have foreseen this? Down. <laughs> What's up? Give me your shit. <laughs> Poof. Ooh, actually. Hang on. Young Waker of the Winds. 
Allow me to aid you in your quest. I believe we can go do we can go talk to the great fairy on Mother and Child Isles now. Interesting. We should go do that. You can now carry more arrows. Carry up to 60 with you wherever you go. Pretty useful. The fairies in the sun shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. We'll probably want fairies eventually, but like we've not come all that close to dying yet. <laughs> I think we did earlier on, back when we only had like four or five hearts, but we now have 15, so we're, we're doing good. Uh, that's the wrong button. We have one piece of heart. We do not have... oh, we already did the pearls. And then, eh, this bitch. We're actually still missing two things for that. I forgot that this was even, like, a menu, because I never look at it. <laughs> anyway, we can now hold more arrows. Uh, kind of nice, because especially in the dungeon, we got it. Uh, we didn't have all that many. Alright. There are a lot of things for us to go do. We could warp to Mother and Child Isles, but... There are a few things for us to do. To start, there are things at all of the eye reefs. Uh, we're gonna go north to start. We're gonna we're gonna go to this reef up here, and then we'll come back down and do the other one. We'll warp to Mother and Child Isles later. But I imagine that is a thing we can do now, should we, should we choose to. Alright, I will meet you at the reef. Those are bombs, anywho, we're here. I imagine the thing we need to do is inside the reef, we probably need our bombs. <laughs> I'd imagine. Oh yeah, hi, uh, what's up? Probably also need this motherfucker. Oh god. Does it drop a thing? I would imagine. No. Does that one drop a thing? Oh god, there's cannons in here. I think those are what we need to deal with and not the boats. The boats are definitely going to be a pain in the ass if we don't. Ah, you prick. Sent me so far under the fucking water. this bitch over here. Ta-da! Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I imagine I can climb this. Do I just fly over to it? It's gotta be, right? Oh, we're gonna be here for a fucking while doing these. Good god, alright. 
If you remember, there are six of these reefs. <laughs> We're not doing them in any particular order, it's just whatever I'm closest to. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're gonna be we're gonna be in this hell for a while uh oh motherfucker how are you supposed to get that I'm confused <laughs> give me a minute Okay, <laughs> let's try this again from, like, here. <sighs> that almost didn't make it, I'm... Mm, I would be so mad. In here is a treasure chart. <laughs> When you open this chart, yada yada yada. Oh my god, I hate you. Let's get the fuck out of here. And never return. Okay. <sighs> that was aggravating. Our next destination is to the south. <laughs> There's six of these fuckers. Ugh. Well, oh, that. I'm not gonna be able to avoid that. Alright. Finally, at 3 Eye Reef, to begin, uh, there's you. Get out of here. Let me in. Let let me in. I know you're there. Yeah, hi. I hate you so much. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate... I hate this. The, these... These might be one of my least favorite things in, in this. <laughs> so far. With all those broken... Oh, that's not all of them, is it? Let me guess. Aha. Oh, Christ. Got one. Can I hit? Can I even hit that from here? Yes, I can. Okay. Just appears on the fucking tallest one. All right. And now we get to do the fun of all of these again and run around the entire perimeter of the island. Christ, I already hate doing these, and this is only the second one. Let alone going around and getting all the fucking treasure charts from them. <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> Who? I need a break from the game after we do this. So I, I uh, heart, thank you, need... Back to full health. Let's go get this chest, and then I'm gonna call it because I'm getting frustrated. 
and I know that if I keep playing I'm just gonna get sloppy and it's gonna be worse <laughs> so let's just go get this and not think about it <laughs> anymore huh <sighs> Why do you need to go around the entire fucking perimeter of the island just to get the thing? Make it be a fucking sunken thing in the middle, that'd be fine. Or roughly in the middle, I guess. Be okay with that, with this. This sucks. Uh, let's wind to make sure we can get it. We wouldn't be going directly against the wind, but I don't trust this fucking game anymore. <laughs> East. It would help if I had my deck. Inside this chest. Is yet another treasure chart. I'm beginning to sense a theme. <laughs> fine. Alright. Huh, this might be a little bit of a shorter one. <coughs> but I need to stop playing the game <laughs> before I get too mad. So, next time on Wind Waker, we're going back to item collection. <laughs> I wish we weren't, but <laughs> there's a lot of things we can go get now that we have the hammer. And just a lot of things that we can get ap after having done the Forsaken Fortress a second time. So, <sighs> we'll do that next time. See you guys then.